welcome to the Northwell Health Orthopedics Joint Preservation and Restoration Program. And thank you for choosing us for your joint replacement surgery. Every patient is unique, and a successful outcome requires hard work and dedication, both on our part and yours. This educational session has been prepared to provide you and your caregiver with the information needed for a successful surgical and recovery experience. We'll be covering how to prepare for the surgery, what to expect in the hospital, and arrangements for a safe discharge to your home. Our goal is to answer any questions you might have, so please grab a pen and feel free to write down any questions throughout this presentation. There will be time at the end to answer them all. A successful recovery after surgery begins with good planning before surgery. Once you decide to have joint replacement surgery, keep a positive attitude about the post-operative healing process. Anticipate and resolve any barriers to your discharge home and recovery. Preparation of your home prior to the surgery will ensure your transition to home is smooth, safe, and convenient. Install nightlights in the bathrooms and hallways to enhance mobility at night. Remove all throw rugs as they're a tripping hazard. Move any furniture which could block you when using a walker or cane. Try and move everyday kitchen items to waste level, for example, coffee mugs or cereal bowls. Place a rubber, non-skid mat on the bathtub floor, and if necessary, have a grab bar installed in your shower. We suggest you make meals and freeze them prior to your surgery to limit your time standing to cook. Plan to clean your home before your surgery, such as changing bed sheets, vacuuming, doing laundry, etc. It might be more challenging to complete these tasks right after your surgery. If you have pets, you may want to arrange temporary placement for them or set up a dog walking service. Lastly, take count of your steps into your home and to your bedroom. This will help your therapy milestones and preparing you for discharge. We will now be reviewing how to prepare for the day of surgery. Make sure to bring your insurance card and any advance medical directive. When packing your hospital bag, plan to sleep at the hospital the night of your surgery and possibly the following night. You should pack loose-fitting clothes to wear after surgery that will fit over the surgical dressing and keep you comfortable. Pack a pair of non-skid slippers or shoes such as sneakers. Bring any personal care items you may need, such as a toothbrush, hairbrush, dentures case, hearing aid or contact lens container, eyeglasses with their case, and so on, etc. Remember to bring chargers for your cell phone, iPad, or any other mobile device you may want to use during your stay. Bring a credit card if you would like to make any purchases, such as TV or telephone service. Do not wear gel or dark nail polish, as it interferes with the medical equipment used to measure your blood oxygen level. Do not bring jewelry or cash to the hospital. The hospital is not responsible for your belongings, so please limit the items you bring and leave all belongings with a family member. You'll receive a telephone call the evening before your surgery to confirm your arrival time to the hospital. Please expect to receive a call up until 9 p.m. at night. On the day of your surgery, you'll arrive to same-day admission at your assigned time. Once you're admitted, you'll be asked to change into a hospital gown, removing all clothing and personal items, such as glasses, dentures, and jewelry. Before your surgery, You'll meet with your surgeon, your anesthesiologist, and the operating room nursing team. Your orthopedic care team is here to support you. This team represents many individuals who will contribute to your experience. Your orthopedic surgeons, anesthesia resources, perioperative services, this is the operating room team, physician assistants and nurse practitioners, your nursing team, physical therapists and or occupational therapists, case management and or social work, as well as your physician office care team. This is your surgical booker or physician coordinator. We'll now review what you should expect in the operating room. You'll be taken from the pre-op area into the operating room, where you'll be greeted by your surgeon, a nurse, an anesthesiologist, and the rest of your surgical team. The room is usually cool, and you'll be given blankets to keep you warm. An anesthesiologist will closely monitor you during your surgery. 
we will now review what you should expect after your surgery. After your surgery is complete, you'll be moved to the post-anesthesia care unit, also known as the PACU, or recovery room, where you will recover. Your wound will be dressed with a water-resistant dressing based on your surgeon's preference. Also, you will have intermittent compression cuffs placed on both your calves to promote circulation and prevent blood clots. Shortly after staying in the PACU, you'll proceed to your assigned room. Let's discuss pain management and making sure you're comfortable throughout your stay. You should expect some pain or discomfort. So please let your care team know your pain level to ensure we can help manage it. Your treatment plan for pain management postoperatively will be tailored to you based on your medical history and allergies to medications. Remember that ice is your friend and patients who have well-controlled pain are able to recover faster. So don't be afraid to ask when you might need some pain medication. Do not allow the pain level to escalate too far before telling your care team. Earlier intervention from your care team with medication is best. Pain levels are measured on a scale from 0 to 10. 0 meaning no pain and 10 meaning the worst pain. A member of the rehabilitation team will be working with you starting on the day of surgery to ensure you're able to ambulate and function safely in your home environment. Your physical therapist will guide your post-operative exercise plan to assist you in reaching your goals. Ambulating independently is a milestone that you'll achieve before headed home. The morning after surgery, you'll order your breakfast and eat out of bed in a recliner or chair and begin your therapy again. Remember to ask for pain medications 20 minutes prior to receiving physical therapy. To optimize your safety, make sure to walk to the bathroom with assistance and never go alone, please. So, what to expect day to day? Here's an example of a plan of care schedule. Essentially, what to expect after your surgery, throughout your first and possible second day in the hospital. This may vary based on your needs. We'll now discuss your preparation to leave the hospital. You will meet your discharge planner as part of your care coordination team on the first morning after your surgery. Your discharge planner will help you prepare to be discharged from the hospital. You'll be ready to go home on your first or second post-operative day. If day two is needed, your discharge time will be around 11 a.m. There are many benefits to returning home after your joint replacement surgery. Positive patient outcomes are proven in your home, and you may return to your active quality of life. If there is a medical need for additional rehabilitation services, we will discuss those options with you. Upon your discharge to home, you may receive one or both of these at-home therapy models. These are dependent on your therapist recommendations, along with your surgeons. Home care is an at-home nursing and rehabilitation service that comes to your home. If you go home with home care services, you can expect a phone call and appointment within 24 hours of your discharge. On average, this may progress for one to two weeks post-discharge. Additionally, some of our surgeons utilize an online therapy video protocol. If this is recommended for you, please log on and follow your instructions as they progress by week as you recover. Lastly, outpatient physical therapy may be recommended. This can be arranged once you have arrived home by calling our Northwell Outpatient Therapy Provider, STARS. Let's discuss details of what to expect in your rehabilitation sessions. You'll be seen by a member of the therapy team every day until discharge or when you're able to complete various activities of daily living independently. Your therapist will discuss your goals for returning home and teach you how to modify your everyday activities, such as putting on shoes, grabbing things off the floor, and climbing stairs. Your physical or occupational therapy will progress with functional mobility, such as transfers on and off the toilet and getting in and out of the tub or shower. Your initial evaluation by physical therapy will consist of sitting on the edge of the bed, standing, shifting your weight, and beginning to walk. You'll return back to bed or assisted to a chair based on how you're feeling after this session. 
Your therapist will review the recommended exercises and specific movement precautions based on your surgery. You'll have a therapy session twice a day until discharge or until you're able to safely ambulate independently. You'll be taught how to independently get in and out of bed, walk safely with a walker, use the stairs, enter and exit a car, as well as shower and get dressed prior to your discharge. Now we'll discuss the best way to safely shower with your bandage. Your waterproof, sterile dressing that covers your incision will remain on for up to 14 days and will be removed following your surgeon's request. Underneath the dressing, you'll have staples or sutures closing your incision. These will be removed postoperatively. You are permitted to shower soon after returning home. To safely do so, just let the water run over the bandaged incision and do not use soap directly on the incision. Remember that before your surgery, you should place a non-skid mat on the floor or install a shower bar if desired. Your doctor may order outpatient physical therapy if necessary for your care needs. STARS Physical Therapy is Northwell Health's premier provider for outpatient physical therapy. This is an outpatient setting where you'll go a few times a week for therapy in approximately one-hour sessions. These outpatient rehab sessions usually last for two to two and a half months after surgery. Your physical therapy sessions will determine your need and progression of assistive devices. If you have any questions about your plan of care after you're discharged from the hospital, speak with the hospital case manager on the unit prior to discharge. Best of luck to you. You are in the best of hands. Thank you for choosing the Joint Preservation and Restoration Program at Northwell Health Orthopedics for your joint replacement surgery. Now's your time to ask all the questions you might have.